TikTok today is one year old today. So I thought we'd have a look back at what's happened over that year, what we've done that year. It's a reflection. We're good IB learners. We know reflection's important in learning. Welcome to Talk Today. In summer 2022, I left my international school in Bangkok, Thailand and moved here to beautiful Lisbon, Portugal. On the 1st of August of that year, I launched Talk Today an online learning resource for theory of knowledge, with the aim to make TOK more accessible for students and teachers. We aim to do this by providing accessible and effective resources for both the learning and teaching of TOK. So what's happened over the last year? Let's start with YouTube. We've published 144 videos on YouTube and 671 of you lovely people have subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. And those videos have ranged from the TOK of Taylor Swift to post-structuralist epistemology. We've published 132 blog posts on the talktoday.com website and 32,000 unique visitors. You're all unique. Everybody's special. 32,000 people have visited the website and collectively those 32,000 visitors have clocked up 66,000 views. Thank you. So what has been the global reach of the website? How many countries have people visited the blog from? Well, when I started to put this together, I sort of thought, well, maybe, maybe people have come from about 35 to 40 countries. But when I downloaded the data, I found that people had come from 164 different countries. I didn't know that there were 164 different countries in the world. So which countries have been the top 10 visitors to the website? I need to look at my list here. So number 10, Turkey. Number nine, Japan. Number eight, Spain. That surprised me. Number seven, the UK, where I'm originally from. Number six, Hong Kong. My second home, or is it my first home? Number five, Canada. Number four, Australia. Sorry, Australia. <laughs> Number three, Singapore. Number two, the United States. And number one, most visiting the talktoday.com website is India. The support from everywhere in the world has been really great. But I've just got to make a special mention for number three there, Singapore. It may be a small country, but Singaporeans, you're big supporters of the Top Today website. So thank you, Singapore. We've published 36 ebooks on the talktoday.com website. 36! This time last year, I hadn't published any books on the Top Today website. 36. <laughs> and those books have been picked up by 500 people around the world, coming from 62 different countries. Thank you to everybody who's picked up a talktoday.com ebook. And I've personally worked with about 50 students this year in online coaching, and they've come from all six of the seven continents. I'm still looking for my first student from Antarctica. It's been really wonderful working with those 50 students. And uh, guys, I'm really rooting for you. Stay in touch. So that's the numbers, but what about the other learning, the qualitative learning from this year on uh, TOKToday.com? Well, first of all, I've got to think about all of the wonderful people that I've met during the year. I've got to make a special mention for my friends in Australia. Um, they were the first people to get in touch and to start supporting the website. And they got in touch back in September when I was having a particularly difficult time and I had to go back to the UK. And uh, people in Australia got in touch to get help with a TOK exhibition. And uh, they really picked me up when I, was, when I was in a pretty low place. And you really gave me the confidence that this thing could work and I could reach out and do TOK teaching around the world. So thank you so much to my friends in Australia, still supporting the website. It's very much appreciated from the heart. 
<laughs> and then as the year progressed, some people got in touch from Florida and they've been really great friends of the website, offering great suggestions for content, ways of doing things and ways that might connect with students. Um, the support from our friends in Florida, really very much appreciated. I won't mention names here, people in Australia, people in Florida. It's not really my place to do that, but you guys, you know who you are and um, you know that I really appreciate all the support that you've been giving me, thank you. And of course, I have to give a special mention to all my friends at United Lisbon International School, ULIS. You gave me a home, a practical home to do TOK right at the beginning of the year. And I've really loved that sort of practical element of TOK today, this year. Uh, TOK Group 11.3, I said I'd give you a shout out. I will. And uh, yes, you can have a break, but be back in five minutes. <laughs> Keep in touch, 11.3. There are so many other people that I've met from all over the world this year who I've really enjoyed working with. So I have to say hello and thank you to my friends from Panama, from Peru, from Latvia, from uh, Nicaragua, from Hong Kong and from Singapore. And if I've missed anyone out, I'm really, really sorry. I really loved working with all you guys and stay in touch. <laughs> so what other things have I learned during this year? Well, to be honest, the whole vision of TOKtoday.com has, uh, has changed as the year has, has gone along. I'm, I'm not really where I expected to be. I mean, a slightly different place on this first year anniversary. I imagined that the main focus of the site would be the videos on YouTube. But it's turned out that the website gets far more attention and visits than YouTube. YouTube has been a lot more difficult than I expected. I'm still working out how YouTube might work for the site. Second learning. I had thought that the vision of Top Today was going to be working with schools and teachers and sort of like, you know, PD and resources and materials and planning. But it hasn't really turned out that way. I've done a bit of work with teachers, but most of the work has been with students and most of the interest has come from students. So I slightly reoriented to sort of focus more on students. So another big thing that I've learned this year was the involvement of the parents of TOK students. Um, and that was, that was pretty unexpected. I, I guess I hadn't thought this through properly, but the parents of the DP students have been really great at getting in touch, um, uh, reaching out for help, uh, supporting the site and talking to me. So that, that's given me some really good learning, a good reflection point. <music> There's been so much other sort of unexpected learning this year. A lot of techie stuff that I didn't expect, sort of from search engine optimization to UX and lots of other stuff. ChatGPT, hadn't heard of that a year ago. Um, so I've loved all of that new learning and a new set of skills working in a completely different industry and environment. That, that's been fun. So what changes are planned for the coming year for TOKtoday.com? Well, first of all, I need to completely redesign the website. The website's uh, pretty rudimentary at the moment, so I'm going to work on that over the summer. Uh, the website needs to look better, it needs to be more user-friendly, um, and I'm going to be thinking a lot more about UX. Uh, <laughs> so I look forward to doing that. And then secondly, we're going to have more content directed towards parents of DP students and parents of TAK students. They want to support their, their young people, their children, um, so we can uh, put together more content for parents. I'm looking forward to that. And the third thing in the coming year is to have more collaboration with other content creators and people working in the sort of TOK support and guidance sort of spaces. I've got a couple of collaborations in the pipeline. If you're a digital content creator or you're um, working in that sort of education guidance space and you would like to collaborate, then get in touch and, and maybe we can, we can do something synergistic. <laughs> And obviously, I'll just continue to improve and tweak the things which are working and quietly drop the things that aren't working. To sum up, to sum up, 
I recently read um, an interview with a teacher in the UK who was talking about the state of education today. And, and she said, if a pterodactyl landed on the school roof, the children would be told to ignore the pterodactyl and continue with their allotted learning task. And I want TOK to be a space where we wouldn't ignore the pterodactyl that had landed on the school roof, but we would, um, we would uh, leave our allotted learning task and we'd go up to the school roof and we'd engage with that pterodactyl and uh, we'd ask it some TOK questions, some knowledge questions. Uh, um, we'd, ask it for, uh, we'd ask it what evidence was needed to substantiate its existence and if it could come up with uh, two counterclaims and an implication of that evidence. <laughs> you get my, my drift. Finally, I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart who has supported me and has supported TalkToday.com during this past year. Uh, it's been a successful year and um, it's also been uh, surprising in many ways. I look forward to the coming year and I hope that everybody who's been working with me continues to work with me and um, we bring in lots of new people as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I've only got one last thing to say and that's stay toptastic my friends. Bye.